Hey, good evening, and welcome to the Goatway Guys podcast. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in again. It's our second week. I think we had really good success the first week. Oh, yeah. Had a good turnout, huh? A little shy on my end, but we got through it. Well, and, and I didn't expect you not to be shy. It's the first one. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, you never like to hear your own voice or to see your own face. Yep. And uh, we get used to it. Um, but, yeah, it was a really awesome response by the community. Do you oh, get it? Yeah. What's your feedback? I had a lot of positive feedback. A lot of them. A lot good. of people volunteer wanting to be on here. Really? Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, they're going to yep. have to stand in line because we got a good guest tonight. That's right. Uh, yes, we got Tommy G. Tom Guthrie yep. is coming in to uh, interview with us and have a have a discussion. So here's some things we need to correct. As you see, we've kind of already upgraded the little studio a little bit, got us a table because uh, people kept on saying we look silly standing <laughs> sitting shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. uh, you know, for a fat guy, it's kind of hard to turn your head so much, yeah. you know. Uh, so we got us a table where we can we can actually interview and see each other, which is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, another thing we we got is uh, we kind of upgraded the room a little bit, got a bigger TV, and uh, so that's a good thing. So uh, a lot of positive things. I did not get one email last week. When was that? Well, <laughs> it's funny you, <laughs> you ask. <idiot. laughs> yeah. So I kept telling everybody if you want to connect with the show. Email us at goldthwaiteguys yeah. at gmail or at yahoo.com. Yahoo. It's gweightguys at yahoo.com. So this week, if you want to connect with the show, email the right address. Yeah. That would help a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. gweightguys <laughs> at yahoo.com. And I'll put it down there on the ticker right now. That way you see it. And that way uh, we don't have uh, that happen again. It's gweightguys at yahoo. gweightguys.com. So yep. well, hopefully we'll get some some uh, some emails this week about things. The name, are we sold on the name? Or we st- uh, we're kind of stuck with it right now. Kind of I stuck mean, with yeah, it right now. It yeah. fits. It does its job, but it's really kind of bland. Yeah, we can come up. We can do better. We can do better, yeah. and I think you can do better. So you email us and let us know uh, what you think it should be called, and we'll positive we'll, things, no negative. No, no, yeah. we ain't got time we'll for the negative you. stuff, right? <laughs> So, good. How's your week been? It's been good. Good. Yeah. Uh, things I forgot last week is I forgot to mention I had another child, but he's more yeah. like a brother, though. You know, well, I, I, mean, introduced, I introduced everybody. As he, me and him grew up together. He's a grown man. Well, yeah, my wife, she says, yeah, but uh, one of them yeah. matured faster than the other. I don't know what you're talking about or you know how to yeah. take that. But, yeah, no, yeah. you want to introduce your oldest child? Yeah, Weston. <laughs> Weston. He'll be 24 here pretty quick. Awesome. Yep. Good, good guy. Yep. I love Weston. Oh, yeah. and and his and uh, his bride, uh, what's what's her name? Amy. Amy. Yeah, we're not on talking terms right now, though. No, not uh, your bride. What do I, his, oh, his bride. Is, oh, my bad. Yeah, uh, Brittany. <laughs> yeah, Brittany. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brittany. I was gonna say. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tell them, tell them why you and Amy aren't oh, on talking terms. Oh, we've been terms. working sheep today. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing dumber than a sheep is a man who'd buy them. You know. But <laughs> spoken from a yeah. from a yeah, uh, we'll work through it. We've been married twenty four years. We can get through this. Yeah, there you go. I've been married happily four. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. uh it's uh, got some uh did you look have you looked at YouTube? Uh yeah. Yeah. We have three hundred what sixty views? Three hundred and sixty one yeah. views. Three hundred and forty of those is me going on there looking. Oh really? Did you yeah, repeat sure. it and yeah. just make sure your yeah, hair looked yeah. right? We had probably twenty views in. No, so we've had <laughs> we had some some uh, good response people talking about, hey I heard the podcast. So let's grow the show. Let's let's uh let's keep it going. I think yep. uh, Goldthwaite is excited about it. Yep. I think this is something fun for the community and yeah. uh it's something we can be a part of and enjoy yep. and listen to two meatballs just talk oh, and yeah. have fun. All yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. So, talk to us. Uh, who's who? Our guest is this, this Tom evening. Guthrie. He is uh, our Ag County Extension agent. Is that correct? Yeah. 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 yeah he's a move in like you. You know, he's been he here is. a little longer than you, but yeah. I, yeah. I think he came from Santa Ana, and that's you know, I was going to ask him yeah. what that town was named after. You yeah. Know, if it was sure. After the the uh, I'm Santa Ana from the Alamo or. Santa yeah. Claus, you know, <laughs> that's one thing I'm asking. <laughs> that but sounds right. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds right. That, uh, yeah. So we'll clear that yeah. up. Yeah. That's good. But yeah. So we're going to interview him next segment and talk about what's going on in our community and mm-hmm. all the good stuff that he's uh, got a lot of lot of neat neat stuff. You know, his, his yeah. family history, you know, and everything, yeah. and the things he does for the community and the kids and 
You yeah. Know, he's a pretty interesting it's, guy. He's been a blessing to the community. Yeah, and yep. his church, too. He's oh, so yeah. involved yep. in the church. Good family. First Baptist good Church, kids. Goldthwaite. Um, yep. Has two kids. And yep. wait, Why are we talking about this now? Let's talk about it with, yeah. with him. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> right. yeah. <laughs> so that's good. But, yeah, so a uh, good response this week from the community for the uh, – for the podcast excited to see where this thing goes yep. um i mean this may be the last one i don't know but i hope not i hope hope we keep oh, yeah. going yeah. um you know but we have a list of names um catchy fun podcast names and uh, i mean anything from cool and quirky and uh you know laugh the laugh lounge i got that <laughs> one uh you know you come up with a, the sidekick show or yeah, the sidetrack I mean, show side track, yeah <laughs> So this uh, train derailed a long time ago. <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, it did. Um, the lights are on, but no one's home. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. But yeah, so uh, Coach Howard was a fantastic yeah, interview last week. A lot he? to say. Yep. Yeah. A lot of positive things going on. So yep. much going yeah. on in our community. And yes, sir. He kind of get us, uh, got us on track with what, what to expect next year, even for football and, oh, yeah. and what that looks like. So. Yep. A really good time, really good interview, and um, I'm glad that he got to be a part of it. So, oh yeah, and he was excited. I know that I can't was believe good. it. <laughs> I can't, can't believe anybody come up and sit between me and you. Right, right. <laughs> and then <clears throat> let's talk about the week that was in sports. Um, had some qualifiers in track. Track really good. Had some records, I believe. Did we? Yeah, I, I want to say the the girls was it the 800. I, I don't know. I have to look up. Okay, but, but yeah, yeah had, maybe had Tom knows why. And golfing. Yeah, the golf. golf uh, yeah. Uh, two of them are moving on. I think uh, Walt Thompson and and Lane. Lane. Uh, yeah. uh, Lane. Uh, who am I Lane thinking? Gray. Of? Lane Gray. Yeah. Both That's of them cousins or nephews. Are yeah. they? Oh yeah. Yep. Good deal. And they yep. they did really well. Played really mm-hmm. well. Um, the guys as a group got third in district. Yeah. Um, so just about twenty strokes off. Uh, but those two guys will move on, and the girls, I believe, won. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what we'll to confirm research. that. Yeah. But I think they did a real good job. I know Hope played played well. Yep. And then um, the softball. Let's talk about softball. What happened? Softball. Softball. I tell you what, that's a good good matchup Friday night. Yeah. We had some girls hitting. Both teams had really good pitching going on, and yeah, yeah had four home runs. Maya had two, and uh, I believe it was Addison. Addison, Addison Howard had two. two. Yep. Yeah, and it that was, pitcher uh, for Harper was supposed to be the one best one in the district, yep. and she was good. Yep. Ours did just as good a job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lainey Levert uh, matched her mm-hmm. step for step, and yep. uh, had some good good. Uh, I think it was what eleven to eleven to five. Yeah, and then the JV won ten to ten to nine. Did they? That's a good game. So they go, uh, they go on. Um, play tomorrow here. Tomorrow night, senior yep. night. Yes, right? that's right. And Four that's going to be a big one. Uh, yep. Who are we playing tomorrow night? Uh, Junction. Junction. Yep. Okay, we're playing Junction. That's going to be yeah. a big game. <laughs> Four thirty uh, and six thirty. Four thirty JV, six thirty varsity. That's right. Yep. And uh, uh, it's going to be again senior night, so that's going to be a, a fun time. So yes, if you've sir. not been to a softball game, these girls they play well. Yep. They play hard. Tom's uh, daughter plays on there, and so she's got an arm. Oh on yeah, her now. and she's 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 just a good athlete. Yep. She's great. I think she got it from her mom. Probably. Uh, that's what I've heard. Yeah. So her looks, uh, especially. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, uh, yeah. No. Uh, but the the golf deal is going on tomorrow. And is it Corpus? Yeah, Corpus tomorrow and Tuesday, I believe. At least two day deal. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that's good. We'll keep you posted yeah, on come that out next tomorrow week. Tomorrow night here, if you're here in town. Sure yeah, enough, tomorrow yeah. night at the ballpark uh, again. Four thirty yeah. for JV and six thirty yep. for varsity. And like I said, if you haven't been, uh, come check them out because they oh, yeah. they put on a show. Yep. Uh, got got the seniors. Let me see if I got this right. Rainy House. I got her first this time because I didn't want to leave her out. <laughs> uh, Abby Patrick, which that she uh, she's awesome center oh, fielder, yeah. does yeah. great. And then Amaya Valencia oh, behind the plate, yep. does an amazing job. And then Leverett, uh, Leverett pitching, pitching, yeah. and she plays short. I think sometimes. Yep. So, yep. but yeah, um, yep. but it was great. Let's talk about one other thing. I don't. You weren't you weren't able to be a part of it, but we had prom last night. Yeah. That yeah, was a big deal for our community. Yep. And this is a special place to call home, to have the prom uh, grand march that they have at the courthouse. And, man, see, I mean, we have some good-looking folks in our town. Oh, yeah. Them kids showed up and showed yep. out. And, you know, I, and it, uh, my son, was he's a junior, he looked like a grown man. That's hard for me to handle. I told oh, Melissa, yeah. I said, you're getting old. <laughs> um, but, no, he looked yeah. good and. Uh, I mean, I'm a little biased, but Kira me, uh was his date, and she was so it's just so pretty and oh, so yeah. uh, such a such a sweet little girl. So uh, they had a blast. Was Got there any the, cool rides? Man, okay, there was a 
Blake and Kirimi got to ride in uh, Roundtree's GTO. Yeah. That blue Heck convertible. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Top Seems shelf, to, yeah. right? Uh, Ellis Giesland took an 18-wheeler. Oh, yeah. I yeah, can, him and, and Lindley <laughs> are in the 18-wheeler, and yeah. that was cool. Uh, there were so many good-looking cars and classic cars. There was a, something like a truck. I don't know. Uh, Tom might have to speak to that. Somebody was driving a classic truck, looked real good, black. Oh. And, Man, I so, hate to miss that. Oh, it was a, it was a good yeah. And the community sh- showed up for it. I mean, the courthouse lawn was, was full. Heck, yeah. Yeah, so um, it was it was a really nice night, and – uh, they had a hypnotist apparently at the prom. Oh, which, heck, I could have done that. Well, yeah. simple-minded people, <laughs> <laughs> right? Simple-minded people. <laughs> but no, the prom was amazing. So, what'd you do this weekend? I know you were uh, out of town. Uh, we went down to Brenham to see my old buddy Bob. Bob there, who? Bob Gardner, right. the one and only. It was a good time hanging out yeah. with his old classmates. You know, we were by far the youngest ones there, but yeah, you know, it, it was a good time to go see Bob. So how did you connect with Bob? Just explain the story that way, everybody, because we're all connected to that a little bit. Oh, uh, how, I, how I met him? Yeah. Oh, we're neighbors up on the hill. We just, we met up on Facebook, I guess, just talking really? smack all the time, getting in trouble, <laughs> yeah. and then, you know, I'd go there and hang out with him, and and uh, just tell fun. we was the funniest people, you know, to us, yeah. you know, we thought we were funny and yeah. everything, but when yeah, th- oh, my kids took to him pretty, you know, how to see my kids reacted around him yeah. was, you know they're they're good folks, but I told everybody down here. You know I become friends with all these old classmates from the seventies, and uh, I told them that they're the only good thing that come out of <laughs> me meeting him, Bob. You know, <laughs> but so uh, yeah, it was a good time. Bob Lots used to own Uno Peso. Yeah, and yep. uh, so we that's kind of where me and me yep. and uh, uh, Travis live. So yep. yeah, he he's a great neighbor. I hated to see him go, and uh, you know, speak for yourself. Well, and <laughs> no. well, because he was the buffer between me and you, and yeah, now he's yeah, gone. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was a good weekend for you. I'm glad oh, you're yeah. back. Glad, glad everybody's safe. Um, yep. I think we had a a, a a wonderful weekend, and excited to see what's going on this this week up in sports. So, yes, sir. this is yep. the busiest time of year in Gold Lake. Yeah, I'm telling you. You got baseball, you got softball, you got track, you got golf. You got rodeo, on. you got church, all this, all this stuff. Yes, sir. Um, prom, right? And graduations a couple of weeks from now. Guess yep. who's speaking? Guess who's preaching the baccalaureate at uh, uh, at, uh, at the this year's graduation? It ain't Richie, is it? It is Richie Rich, the yeah. one and only oh, Richie my. Rich. <laughs> Can't and wait. And that's going to be fun. <laughs> it's at the Evangelistic Center. Um, uh-huh. That'll be May twelfth. May twelfth. And it'll be at the Evangelistic Center at three p.m. Sounds so good. it's going to be a good time, yep. and y'all, y'all come. Everybody show up and make him real nervous. Oh yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> so, but it's going to be a good time. I say that because he's right here. He's running the camera oh, for yeah. us tonight. Yeah. But he's um, trying not to laugh. But yeah, <laughs> tell him don't interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, good week. Glad you're back. Let's get this thing rolling. How yeah, about that? Enough about us. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back to the podcast. We'd like to welcome our guest, Tom Guthrie, Mills County Extension Agent. Yeah, welcome to the show, Tom. Thank you guys for having me. Glad to be here. A little nervous sitting in between two big old guys <laughs> like you, but... Well, we're very simple-minded, Tom. Glad so. you're here. <laughs> hey, there's some corrections I want to I want to make. So, uh, Richie had just informed me. So, y'all, we'll all see the podcast throughout the week. The softball game that we've been referring to is on the 15th. Okay, April 15th, 4.30 JV, 6.30 varsity. That way, you know, whenever you watch it, it won't be the next day, obviously, if you watch it on Thursday. (laughs) So that'll be Monday, uh, April 15th. So I just wanted to clear that up. So, Tom, welcome to the show. Glad to have you, man. Glad to be here. (laughs) So we're going to talk a little bit about what you do in the community and and all the impacts that – you've seen throughout the years in our community then we're going to talk about some history and things like that so um man we're just excited we had coach howard here last week talked about a lot of sports but there's a lot more going on in our community than just sports and and with the kids so uh what are you seeing as far as other things in our community ffa ag things like that you know i mean kind of one of the blessings of Goldthwait is kids have opportunity to do lots of different things right and so yeah. um you know we we were talking during the break you know Goldthwait FFA had a state li- qualifying livestock judging team uh spur 
Spur Ritter. You got them down there? Yeah, Spur Ritter. And uh, I didn't get no last names. Spur Ritter, Levi Harper, Kenneth Androsi, and Jalen Bill with yeah. Mr. York coaching them. And so, you know, they had other teams too. I don't I don't know all that. But, uh, you know, so kids, ag, agriculture um, is a big thing for, for Mills County. Um, you know, we're kind of – um we take it for granted really we just assume that all kids are agriculture background uh or at least have a knowledge of it mm-hmm. being in mills county but uh you know we get further and further removed from that every day yeah and so um uh, just, we don't eat without farmers absolutely yes. so, so what is your job down at the courthouse? You're your ex- extension agent. I mean, what do you what do you do? What does that mean? Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So so um, I get that question a lot. Um, uh, I work for the Texas A and M University System, and so uh, I'm not an Aggie. I get that question <laughs> a lot. Um, are you Are you proud of that? Uh, well, you know, don't yeah, tell me you're I'm, I'm proud. <laughs> don't tell me you're Longhorn. Um, <laughs> no, where, where did you? Where, where, where's college? Uh, I got a bachelor's degree at Angelo State University okay. in San Angelo, and a master's at Tarleton State University in Stephenville. There you go. Awesome. So, All right, man. Um, All right, go ahead. But sorry, didn't me. No, so so yeah, I work for the Texas A&M University System, and we're an educational uh, branch. Um, we do uh, adult and youth education. And so, um, it's, uh, it's kind of broad. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we're, you know, we, we, we're university based land through the land grant system and, and it's and research based. And so, um, you know, every day is different. Uh, I tell people that I'm a, a jack of all trades and master of none. And so one, one day I might be a wildlife biologist. The next day I might be a horticulture specialist, the, that afternoon an entomologist um you know and so man of many it, hats. it's just you know every time the phone rings it's a different question and so but that's what we're there for you know uh, to assist people uh one of the big things going on in mills county is is new landowners mm-hmm. uh you know the uh the landscape is changing as far as uh land ownership not just in mills county but um you know all over texas and so um, with that comes a, a whole different set of challenges. You know, a lot of these people that buy our land are, are educated and smart, but don't come from a ag background. And so uh, they're willing to learn and they're willing to learn to do it the right way. And so it's, uh, you know, I appreciate it when they call on me to help them. And yeah. So that's exciting, you know, because first off, I mean, goodness gracious, the price of land right now is ridiculous, right? In Goldthwaite alone just we've seen it almost triple in in in, in value uh, in in the eight years i've been here it's been crazy to watch so we are having an influx of of move-ins and these dreaded move-ins and i are one you are one and travis is he's a he's a i left a year or two maybe did I you leave, well yeah. but you're still yeah. your roots run, your roots run yeah. very deep oh, yeah. Yeah. in mills county yeah. and i like the idea and I think you're the poster child for um, the move-in case. There's a lot of good people, yourself, your family, and Bree, and, um, that have come into this community and made it better. And uh, just your involvement and, and what all the stuff that you have, you're on the school board, you know, uh, you, all the stuff you do for Little League sports and, and gold weight sports, and then, of course, the stock show and all the stuff that goes on. And so... Um, Speak to us about what it's like being a move-in here in the town that is uh, Goldthwaite, because it's it's a blessing. Yeah, it is. So, so um, so yeah, I'm a move-in. Uh, me and my wife uh, Brianna, we moved here in uh, the end of December of 2002 after Christmas, and and so we I actually started to work the the first second of January. Uh, 2003 and so it's been 21 years and about four months or so since we've been here i done a little creeping on your facebook last night checking things out y'all <laughs> he's y'all, just a uh, creep he's just a high, creep. high school sweethearts huh no no no, no really no no i was, I was that's a, wrong yeah i was a uh, two two grades above her yeah yeah okay. and so uh, uh um she uh uh we're both grew up in santa, santa Ana, Texas. Ana. yeah yep. and so 
Um, we, farm and ranch up there. Got, we, we've got a place over there. Yeah, yeah, family place. We run a little bit of livestock. So this ag extension deal, is this your, all you've ever done? I mean, and is Goldthwait your first job? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, well, no, no. I graduated college, and I was a uh, – I uh, went to work as an assistant agent in Runnels County. Runnels County. Ballinger. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Cotton Li- farmer. Lived at Ballinger and yeah. and worked with people from Ballinger and Rowena and Winters and Miles and made a lot of good friends. And, you know, there are a bunch of German Catholics in that Heck part of the yeah. world. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I, made a, I made a lot of friends <laughs> over there. No, but I've that's heard where, stories. About yeah, them. that's so, right. That's uh, where, is that where they were? One, one of them, yeah. Really all around. around that area, they yeah. kind of really? hid out yeah. some. <laughs> so. But yeah, and so we we were there. Um, we weren't married when I first started to work there. Bree was finished in college in San Angelo, and there so um, we were there. I lived there for two years and about seven months, and then we moved over here. Heck yeah! And so move ins here in Goldthwaite. Yeah. And and so you know you asked the question about move ins, and so I I remember it plain as day. And Richie heard me tell this story the other day, but one of the Richie, first one of the first uh, <laughs> uh, stock show meetings I ever went to here, uh, it was the first stock show meeting I ever went to here. Uh, you know, kind of the new new guy and stuff, and everybody was standing outside talking, and and one of the guys, and he's a he's a friend of mine today, uh, and and he he made a comment of, well, you know, you'll you'll never be from Goldthwait. And, and we're like, okay, you know, I get that. I'm, I'm proud of where I grew yeah. up at, you know. Yeah, well. And so, uh, and 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 so I'm like, okay. I said, I may not ever be from Goldthwait, but I grew up in a town smaller than Goldthwait, and I know that you might be kin to this guy. Yeah. But and y'all may not like each other, but I better not say anything because <laughs> y'all ain't gonna yeah, like it, right. you know. Right. Well, we're glad you're here. We, we welcome you, Russ. I wish I could say the same for you, but I mean, you know, hey, we'll, we'll, gonna, yes. we'll take what we can get. You that's know? right. Yeah. That's right. No, that's so, kind of the conf- we and my wife had to learn yeah. that thing. Uh, you got to be careful of of what you say around people because everybody's kin to everybody. Oh yeah, and, that's yeah. why I married Amy. I mean, my lack lack of options, you know, my <laughs> pickings or something. I mean, that's kin to everybody. It's either Amy. marry Amy or your cousin. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah, and we understand that well because if we were in the town of Santa Ana, we would be the same way. We're yeah, like lots of kin folk and stuff, and so uh, yeah. we understand that. And, you know, we also understood that um, to. To get in in a small town and and make it a home and be able to stay there, you gotta, yeah. um, you gotta get in and you gotta uh, get your hands dirty and you gotta care about people and right. kids and. We see you out and, and about involved in lots of things. You go to the stock show with the kids. I mean, mm-hmm. you, yeah. You, uh, yeah. So you, you know, I, one of the, I mean, in my mind, the the biggest event in Mills County is the Mills County Youth Fair. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I'm a little bit biased towards it, but yeah. I mean, I'm sure your kids showed too, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, there's not a another event in Mills County that uh, brings in kids from every school in the county and under the same roof together, yeah. and then uh, you know competing on that level, and then um the uh, the premium sale at the end of it you know there's no no other event that this year i think we went over two hundred and thirty thousand dollars in the crazy? premium really? sale our, so our, our community blows people, me away people wouldn't give money if they didn't believe in it yeah. right so you know um they they see what you're doing and and for me it's you know there's different levels there's the county level and there's the state level and mm-hmm. the state level gets pretty competitive sometimes and and so I, for me, it's real important that kids on the county level have a good experience because those are the kids that are kind of come in there. And I don't care if it's a rabbit or a sheep or a goat or right. a pig or a cow, mm-hmm. but those are the kids, if they have a good experience, when they, those are the kids that might be your future school teachers or your county judge or commissioner or school board member um leaders in your churches and you know they need to have those good experiences because that's what they'll remember and so um, oh yeah and you know and and plus the just the underlying just responsibilities that it gives kids you know um especially kids that that may not play in a team sport um or or compete you know there's that that idea but there's this there's a whole other 
um, responsibility with, you know, taking this living thing and making sure under your care that it's it, it grows and nur gets nurtured and, um, you know, just the responsibility of feeding it and training it. And I, you know, my kids showed for the last, I don't know, five, six years now. And, um, and then, uh, you know, you know, your kids showed, uh, for, for years, you know, Kaysen's a, a sophomore in college now. Um, but yeah, just to have that responsibility of, of, of growing and, you know, who they are. So, uh, that's, that's good stuff. And I, I know, you know, I mean, I, I had the opportunity to grow up on a farm, mm -hmm. uh, you know, my, both sets of my grandparents had farms and, and I got to experience that growing up and everything that comes along with that. Um, you know, daily chores, you know, farm work, that sort of stuff. And um, not only me, but a lot of kids were able to experience that and, and not as many experience that today. You know, like my kids didn't get to experience that. Oh, yeah, it's, um, it's totally direct And so, um, you know, you try to do things. Um, I, I'm real big. I don't want them to be idle, you know, and I don't care if it's sports. I don't care if it's showing animals or, you know, getting off your butt and going to youth group on Wednesday nights or Sunday nights. Um, you know, let's do things. Let's be active. Let's be busy. Let's learn responsibilities and commitments and sure. that sort of stuff. You model that, and more of you modeling it is your wife. I mean, she is 90 to nothing all the time. Bree is like the Energizer Bunny, so uh, she's, a, she's a sweet lady. She, her and my wife have bonded through work. So uh, Yeah, yeah, good. she's a... You know, me, me and her both, we, we come from uh, backgrounds where, um, you know, that's just what you do. And so I grew up in a family that, you know, just real community-minded and, and involved. And, and so we try to model that. And, and you know, I, I, I'm, I have the opportunity to talk to a lot of younger people um, in our organization, uh, that I work in and, and not only that, but you know, people here in the community and I'm like, you know, be involved. I mean, if you want to make it here, be involved, find something. To, it's not hard to be involved no, in something. Well, not and here. So, no. Uh. And, and if you're not, then that's your fault. And so, um, that's a, that's a good way to meet people. Mm -hmm. You know, we got plugged in, um, you know, obviously through my job, I was able to meet families that had kids in the 4-H program and, and some of those people, when, you know, when I first got here, uh, Lynn Knight was one, the Summy family, um, you know, different people, uh, Robert Hall and, you know, and his kids and, and you know, and meet people like that getting plugged in and, and so you know people in that aspect and, but, the, um, and then I I I'm I won't lie. Our first two years in Gulfway, we were trying to find the fastest train out of here. Really? Yeah, yeah. You know, Gulfway can can be hard to fit into. You know, I sure. mean, so you'll hear people say, "Well, it's kind of clickish." Well, it it might be a little bit some at some mm -hmm. places, and so, but it it's it's not that bad. It's just you got to get in and you got to get involved and. That's, yeah. Speaking of getting involved, let's talk about the Panhandle deal. I know you went up there and spent a week or so up after the fire. Um, yes. Yeah. So Pampa and, and Canadian. Yeah. So oh, I guess it's nearly a month ago now. Um, uh, you know, you've all heard of the the Panhandle wildfires and mm -hmm. and and that's another deal. You know, my job's pretty broadly defined, yeah. and so um, my my boss caught me at the Austin Stock Show and. And they said that they needed somebody to go up there and, and help run an animal supply point in Canadian, Texas. Yep. And I've never been to Canadian, Never Texas have. Before. Well, I, I can't count the amount of times I've and been so, to And um, so, you know, they, they needed somebody to go to Canadian and, and, and fit in and, you know, get in with the people and, and stuff. And um, I, we, there were four animal supply points up in the panhandle mm -hmm. and, uh, Canadian and Pampa and Miami and Borger and um, our, our AgriLife Extension uh, personnel uh, were running three of them and, and Canadian was ran locally and, and uh, they were needing some, some help and stuff and so asked me if I'd go be willing to go up there and yep. and 
he so for, he said before you tell me yes make sure it's okay with your wife because it could be <laughs> a, a, a a little while Long you know deal. uh and so it could be a week two week kind of deal and ended up being seven days i was up yeah. there seven days and so really uh and meet a lot of different people it was an experience yeah, yeah i mean the circumstance of going up there was not you know yeah. ideal but ended up uh i went up there and and got in with the people and of course i wore my goldthwaite hat because i knew um it would be a good way to start conversation with some of them oh yeah you know playing yeah. them in football in 2009 yeah. and and it was and 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 so got in made a lot of good friends up there and while i was there we, we unloaded the, an animal this animal supply point was for feed of, of all kinds of livestock um dog food cat food um, and then on the other side of the building was um, just lined with uh, food canned goods home products right. toilet paper water you know some people lost everything right and yeah. so um and and so that's what this was but I, I one of my job was to keep we, we unloaded stuff from all over the united states yeah. wyoming utah arkansas Alabama, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and, and of course, all over the state of Texas. And so one of my jobs was to kind of keep up with, you know, what was coming in, what was going out, you know, and stuff. And and while I was there, we unloaded about 6,500 bags of feed. Good gosh. And we loaded out about 5,800 bags of feed. Mm. And that, okay. that's not counting hay and right. fencing material talk, and that sort of stuff. Talk to the level of devastation that you saw there. I mean, how, how bad was it? It was they, – they had gotten a, a couple of shires, and so you, there was green popping up okay. in, in areas. Um, but, but it just burned the landscape. And um, wh where we were at, I mean, we were at a – kind of like our civic center kind of deal there on the edge of town and and they had a local airport beside it and you could see where the fire just burned right up to the grass of the parking lot and it was like that all the way around town as well and so um you know they i would drive around town and, and look in at night and and yeah you could it, the fire just basically encircled the town just scorched and, it um the the town was saved but there was some there was a section where several houses in a row were burned and mm. and stuff and you know i met people met a met a young couple that come in and and they lost all their cattle 700 mama cows oh goodness uh, they were expecting their first child um met, met a guy that that come up driving a car get getting a bag of feed um and and lost he, he was able to save some horses and, and so he was wanting some horse feed and mm -hmm. the, the local guy whispered to me he said the, the guy lost everything he lost his home his trucks his trailers his barns everything yeah i couldn't and, imagine and so i'm like you know you get more than one bag of feed that's what it's it's what it's here for and he said well this i'll have to borrow a vehicle to come get it because he didn't you know he oh, lost everything wow. and you know just eating in the restaurant one night the family behind me was that was in there um my waitress whispered to me and she knew why i was there and she's this is a family behind you that lost everything mm -hmm. You know, and they're staying in a motel. Yeah, there, huh? and the last night I was there, I, the little boy riding the elevator in the motel with me, I'd noticed them there all week, and they were constantly going back and forth to the truck and had tubs, and so I just asked him, I was like, so what are y'all doing here? You know, and he said, oh, we're living here. We we lost our home and everything, and so we're this is our oh, home right now. Goodness, and amen. so, you know, it's just. Uh, uh, humbling experience and yeah. i'll tell you what though i mean it it I, i'm one of these i always believe the good in people most of the time anyways yeah. um i'm not one of these doomsdayers that you know thinks everybody's bad and stuff i i i, I think that we got a lot of good people still and raise a lot of good kids and yep. gonna do great things and and but I, I saw you know people do stuff there that gave me 
faith, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, that they're still good in people. And not just in rural Texas, not well, just like in Texas, but this was from all over the United US, States. Yes, yeah. And I seen the other day, like three days ago, there was still stuff coming from Ohio, Illinois, yeah. Indiana, you know, coming down and there. So there's, there's yeah. good people out there. And so to that point, um, we, we connected with uh, the Minister Alliance in Canadian, and um, I know we, we gave a donation to that. And you can go through the First Baptist Church of Canadian to kind of get connected. So if, if this meant something to you, if it's impacted you, and you would like to donate and don't know how, well, that's how we can do that. You can, you can uh, get in contact with First Baptist Church of Canadian, and they uh, just make sure it goes to the Ministerial Alliance there. And the ministerial alliance will will dedicate it as the needs are there. Uh, is there another connection you know of that the people could uh, give to? I, I, there was several. I don't remember them off the top of my head. Um, the the Baptist deal had a huge uh, disaster deal set up right. while I was there, um, but they were. While I was there, like, uh, you know, the churches, all the churches were feeding people um, mm -hmm. and stuff. And so there was several, a lot of stuff going on. And I feel like you could probably do that even like, I know you go to the Western Heritage Cowboy Church. And we will make sure that it gets to uh, the people of Caridan. We have that kind of uh, set up. I'm sure the Baptist Church, uh, which, which you are very much involved in here, First Baptist Church, has a similar situation. You bring it in and you earmark it where you want it to go. We'll make sure it gets there and uh, gets to the, because those people still need a lot of help and a lot yeah. of things going on. Yeah. So and I think Ed at S&S, &S you know, there was people buying stuff out there donating and then, you know, they'd get a truckload put together and they'd, they'd get it shipped, you know. So I yeah. need to reach out to Ed and see if that's still available, what's going on yeah. with that. Huh? Yep. Very good. But I know there's a lot of fences. You know, all that old country up there is all wooden fences and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's miles and miles and miles of that, I'm sure, is gone. Yeah. Yeah, they lost a lot of fences. And, you know, it was a beautiful country up there, even though it was burned. I now I want to go back, you know, in, under good conditions. Right. And, See, you know, they, a they had, had a, they told me they had a good fall up there. And so uh, one of the native grasses pretty prevalent up there is little blue stem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that little blue stem, they said, was, you know, was, tall as it could be basically wow. and so they had a lot of fuel to burn and hmm. you know they there ain't a whole lot of trees up there though no I mean, not a lot some, some small brush type stuff <laughs> yeah. and and stuff yeah. but they they said that fire with the wind was blowing so hard that about every three seconds that fire would just jump two three hundred yards yeah the crazy. embers were just yeah. blowing off of it landing everywhere and and stuff mm. but and I'm sure the wind blowing like that, they can't use much air support. Yeah. So, and, right. and you can get trapped so, pretty quick. But it, it, it was out when you were up there, wasn't it? It was just still burning. They, while I was up there, they had uh, declared it 100% 100%. out. Yeah. Mm. And so it was, a, it was a humbling experience and one yeah. I won't forget. Yeah. So. For sure. Let's change gears a little bit. I want to talk to you because you're on the school board here at Goldthwaite, and we have some changes going uh, coming this summer. Uh, we have Mr. Wright, who is uh, going to retire at the end of this year, mm -hmm. and uh, he's been such a, a blessing to our community. And uh, I know there was a lot of conversation uh, on on what the next superintendent needs to, to be, and um, uh, we settled on one. So I want you to introduce our, our superintendent and tell us a little bit about him. Uh, so yeah, you know, Mr. Wright served here for, I think it was 15 years. Is that what it was? Then, yeah. Um, I think that, I think next weekend there'll be a, uh, a, a gathering, um, kind of celebrating his retirement and, uh, welcoming to the, to the new guy. And Where so, will that be? What what's that? Uh, like? I wish I wish I had the specifics, but I think it's you're about as prepared uh, as we are. Yeah, <laughs> I, um, I, I think it's next Sunday afternoon. I think. Okay. Yeah. At the, he was at the softball at, game the other night. MC. Yeah. He was. I barely seen him around your big head, but he, he was back there. <laughs> he was. He was wearing a Baylor, Baylor jacket, I believe. Uh, okay. I, I, is is he a Baylor guy? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. We won't hold that against him. No. So his, his name is uh, Doctor Chris Bailey. Okay. And uh, he's coming to us from Abilene, Texas. Gotcha. Oh, another yeah. Flatlander. He was he was yeah. in Abilene. Yeah. Uh, um, and so uh, it was. Uh, uh, 
Uh, you know, I, one of the hardest processes I've ever been through, um, superintendent search. And, yeah. um, it's a big decision. Yes, yes. And so uh, something that I didn't take lightly, and I don't think anybody on the school board did, and lots of prayer went into it. And um, just sitting back, you could see God's hand at work in the process. And uh, and um, Mr. Bailey, Dr. Bailey, he he's a... I like him a lot. What? So, why do you like him? What stood out about him that that just made your spirit like that? Oh, this is the guy. What 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 happened in that? Kind he, of he's a super engaging person. Um, he he could sit down here like this and talk with you guys at ease, um, even though he hadn't been here long. He could do it, and Very so cool. he's a super engaging person, uh, man of faith. Uh, he was a deep like deep him. man of faith. Um, uh, some some good experiences um in his background um and uh a super smart guy super smart to and that point and uh, you got like you said it's just you got to have a guy that fits right it goes yeah. is a unique place and both weight people are the most amazing people that i've ever come across um but you know if you're not real and genuine and 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 you know authentic uh you don't make it here and so i think that has to be a factor in that too with right. him and that from him meeting him and and getting to have a little conversation with him and he's the real deal yeah I, I i think so and i'm excited uh uh for this next chapter and see where it goes and um you know like i say it's something that you know we we spent lots and lots and lots of days and hours uh process was thank you and um dr betty just was was it and so no doubter um, huh? and and so it's uh um i'm excited and and we didn't take it lightly and so um awesome it's a it's a, it's a hard deal uh you know s serving on the school board is a hard deal it's a humbling deal it's a rewarding deal yeah um Nobody really understands it until you've been on it. Yeah, so. I don't. I don't know that I could do it. Be like, be like being a county commissioner here or something. I don't. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. I, I could probably. Handle, I'm pretty smart. You just can't prove it on paper. <laughs> well, you know that the, there's nothing more precious to people than their children. Uh, right. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, and so, um, and so that's a. Uh, and you know, your children are precious to you. Mine are right. precious yep. to me, and yours are precious to you. Right. Yep. So. Um, and they all come from different backgrounds. Yep. And so. Absolutely. And, you know, change uh, is inevitable. It's going to happen. Yeah. And sometimes change, and again, Mr. Wright has been awesome and, uh, you know, has moved our our district forward uh, or our school forward in the district. And so, um, you know, uh, kudos. He deserves his retirement. I, I know he's excited. He's ready to uh, find out what the next chapter looks like. Um, but, you know, Mr. Bailey coming in, Dr. Bailey coming in, fresh ideas fresh uh you know view of things and um our schools are amazing uh, but uh you know to have another guy come in and and kind of have man the controls it's exciting to see what could happen in the oh, future yeah. with gold yeah. so it's bright uh, yes yes it's uh it's exciting yeah. it's like how we talked about you know the high expectations you know i mean and I like I like what's going on here. You know, it's all everything. Everybody's doing good, and never going to state. You know, and everything. You know, staying right. active and stuff. And uh, you know, too. we're we're not perfect. Our school's not perfect. Uh, we try to be, but we're not. You know, um, we um, you know we're, nobody's ever going to be perfect. Right. No. Only one right. perfect. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, yep. Um. But you know, I I grew up in the area. Got a lot of friends in the area. I uh, have friends that have a lot of kids that go to schools in the area, have friends that are board members all around the area. And, and man, I, I go to it as good as anywhere. That's right. So that's right. I'm a, that's, that's why we chose to stay here 21 years and raise our kids here. Right. And so, and that's, you know, we're moving on. Me and Melissa have been here eight and a half years now. So, 
Uh, it's a wonderful place to call home. Wish I had better neighbors, but you can't control that. Oh, yeah. you know. Can't so. control everything. <laughs> no, it's been good. So, yeah, no, that's all. What else you got, Travis? He's a turkey thief. I am. I stole Travis's turkey. Yeah. Um, you got no, anything else for Tom? No, I think, no. No. It's exciting. So, uh, yeah. uh, what's going on? There's other one other thing I wanted to talk to you about. And um, not only are you on the school board um, and, and all the heavy decisions that you have to make there, um, your church, First Baptist Church, Goldthwait, is in a transition, and it's a, it's a you know, a pastor, uh, Greg Lewis, has uh, taken another position in Colorado City, and blessings to him as he, he moves forward there. Um, but it's a kind of an exciting time at First Baptist Church with, um, you know, the interim pastor coming in, uh, Pastor Crosby, and just kind of just this rejuvenation at First Baptist Church. So I want you to talk a little bit to that, what's going on there, and uh, it's exciting to hear. Yeah, you know, um, um, got some exciting stuff going on. Um, you know, my, my family's been involved in that church. Uh, we gave the welcome this morning at church, and uh, I think that we started really getting actively involved when Kaysen was about five or six, getting involved in the youth programs. And so Bree and I have been there ever since, you know, ever, ever Wednesday night or Sunday night, basically for 15 years. And okay, so, was baptized in that church, right? Yes, yes. The, the day y'all, what, there was a special day. What was that day? What was going on? Uh, was it you become, being a member or, or no, something? No, no, I was baptized as well. Oh, is that yes, what it was? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm not a Baptist. I, I'm married into the Baptist. Okay. So, yeah, Bree well, grew, Bree grew up a, a diehard Baptist uh, girl and... Uh, I uh, I grew up in a Presbyterian church. Okay. And so my my family uh, been uh, Presbyterians for a long long time. Gotcha. Um, at, matter of fact, uh, helped start the Presbyterian church in Ballinger, Texas and Santa Ana, Texas. Okay. And so uh, So you're church planters. I grew up in uh, Presbyterian church and Gotcha. And so um, but you know, that that's not big deals for us. We're we're pretty open to where we need the mm-hmm. Lord needs us to be right and so that had um, to be a cool day yeah. for you to be and baptized with so you son. know um I was uh uh sprinkled as you would say right. as, as a baby in the right. Presbyterian church and um you know they do things a little different yes you, know, you get yes. older you go through some classes and stuff and you get older and you make your public affirmation of faith right. in front of your church and stuff and which I appreciate too because uh church takes an active role in it and stuff mm-hmm. um, but you know in order to, for me to be a member of the first baptist church mm-hmm. um you know and be with my family i needed to you know get baptized correct submerged in water right know? absolutely that's, that's what the, i did the submersion so, and that's good yeah. so all right let me derail that's a, you there that's a short part in my testimony <laughs> that I've shared. i didn't, I didn't <laughs> want to derail you there but, but but going back to what's going on there with pastor crosby coming in tell us a little bit about him and, and what's going on at the church yeah so um uh i don't i don't know if a lot of people have met uh, david crosby but he's a you think Ken DeBuehl calls me? No. no. Oh, my bad. No. <laughs> His brother was Sam that was the first Baptist church pastor at San Saba. Okay. Um, and, and not only that, but they, they, they have a large family, and there's a lot of long history of, of service to yeah. uh, to the church. And so we got to clarify with Travis because <laughs> it's Crosby, not Cosby. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I missed it by that much. I think my ears are stopped up. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, I had lunch with Pastor Crosby uh, Friday. We and me and Brady had lunch with him and Richie, and uh, just got to sit down and talk with him. I mean, he's got a, a tremendous um, legacy. He was the first Baptist Church uh, pastor of New Orleans. How yes. big is that? I mean, just for ooh. for over yeah. twenty years. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So and so, you know that he's he's got a wealth of. Yeah. experience from from that he can tote so, the mail yes probably <laughs> probably has seen it all right and so um and ju- yeah just a blessing to have um a man like that available um, mm-hmm. you know our our church it's a blessing because we've got several men you in got our a fountain of great pastors there, yes right. uh you know uh brother doug hope mm-hmm. uh, butch foster 
Butch uh, Foster, we call him the master pastor. <laughs> master pastor. <laughs> the legend. Uh, Brother Horton. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, Pastor Crosby. I don't know if he, what yeah. he likes to be called. But well, he's actually a doctor, I think. Oh, is he? Yeah. So doctor, uh, pastor, so doctor. I don't, th- I don't know that he likes to be called that. I could, I can't speak for him. Oh. But, um, and so, yeah, there's a lot of knowledge. That we're yeah. blessed to, you know, be a transition period and to be able to rely on people like that. And <laughs> I, I am so proud as as a just a pastor in our community and president of the Minister Alliance for whatever that means um, to see our churches uh, in a very healthy place. Um, you know, pa- uh, Pastor uh, Brock of the Methodist Church. I don't know his last name. It's a weird name. Yeah, I think. good guy. Uh, isn't he amazing? Good young guy. guy. He's just full of energy. Wonderful young family. Yep. Uh, it's been a blessing to our community already. And I know the Methodist Church uh, congregation are excited to have him and, and all the stuff he's doing. Uh, saw uh, Jonathan Sloan today. Jonathan Sloan's associate pastor at Fellowship. He had back surgery a couple weeks ago. Preached this morning at Fellowship and did an amazing job. Yeah. So to see him going and getting healthier and getting uh, his, his – man, there's nobody better than Jonathan Sloan. He is a rock star. Yeah. And uh, – you know, see what's going on at the First Baptist Church with, you know, y'all have service. Y'all are actually having service uh, on Sunday nights now for the youth. Yes. And that's yeah. exciting. So there's I a skipped lot of, out tonight. Did you play hooky? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did too. I jet lag. I <laughs> but just flew but in the, the uh, you know, that allows uh, youth yeah. from my church to go be a part of your church and vice versa. Your right. church to be a part of ours on Wednesday night. And, and so we have Richie here at Western Heritage Cowboy Church and, of course, uh, Bodie, Bodie uh, Thomas preached last week for me. I was in Dallas, and, man, uh, I was really worried about my job. He preached that good. So, uh, <laughs> I saw Tony in the parking yeah. lot was full. Yeah, but <laughs> how, how awesome is it just to have people yeah. like that, yeah. you know, at our church right. and in our community, uh, you know, all the churches. And, right. You know, I'm one of these, uh, you know, Go where you feel comfortable. Right. You know, there's good people mm-hmm. everywhere. I mean, there's you know, so, Church of Christ. Church they got Christ, a good preacher coming yeah. in. William. Uh, w- he, uh, he was here before. You, yeah, what's his name? Uh, William. I can't remember his last name. Yuli I or? Uh, I think it's something like that. It's with an E. But, um, but yeah. Uh, they moved to a Mineral Wells, I believe, a while back. Right. For family, or family or, or something. Fantastic pastor. I remember yeah. him. And he. Uh, that's exciting as well. And of course, the Evangelistic Center is mm-hmm. always. Uh, doing well there we'll have the baccalaureate at that church uh, next month and so uh, all the stuff that goes on in this community yeah. am i leaving any out i don't want to leave any out oh uh, man no. you know, uh, so and there but, there's good people at all of them absolutely and it just makes our community yeah. stronger that's what that's what is exciting about this time of year i know crosby's an interim and and you're on the search committee so y'all are going to start that process because uh you know he's no he's i'm not on the search oh you're not no oh we, how we did you get out of that we haven't voted on that yet <laughs> okay <laughs> gotcha awesome uh, well. but yeah we're actually gonna um next week we're gonna uh vote to, to name crosby as our interim pastor okay um which that's a formality and then, right isn't it i hope I, so, I hope so too. <laughs> uh, and and then uh we'll also do our search committee gotcha so, yeah. Exciting times, um, you know, uh, what's going on there. So great things going on in our community. Oh, yeah. Travis, what else you got? Man, I'm about ready for a break. About ready for a break? Ready to ready for a break? Drill, drill him some more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, the so hard that, ones. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're going to loosen up next segment and talk about you as a person and family and everything yeah. that you like and what you don't like. Okay. All right. Well, Sounds hey, perfect. thanks for being a part of it. Yes, sir. All right. We'll see you on the break. Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. Glad you're here with us. Uh, we're here with Tommy G, Tom Guthrie of Goldweight and all the stuff that he's involved with and his family. Glad to have you on board. We've got to do some housekeeping real quick, Travis. Uh, if you want to contact the show, uh, email us at what is it? Uh, G Weight Guys at Yahoo.com. That's right. Not G Weight Guys at Yahoo. Not go with late guys. Don't listen to that blockhead. Yeah, over so, there. <laughs> so if you emailed the show last week and had a hard time, yeah, I we apologize. had no feedback. We had yeah. no feedback. 
So yeah, you can't get no help. negative feedback. That's no, good. No, yeah, well, hey, that's, yeah, that's right. No news is good news. <laughs> I'm just surprised he got, you know. When <laughs> so here, here's the thing: uh, you are Tom officially on the the biggest podcast in Goldthwait. Uh, we had 360 views on YouTube uh, uh, last week. Like I said, 340 of them were probably me going on there well, checking, but you know that's true. Yeah. Might have been yeah. a little, a little, bit, <laughs> little bit uh, mm. a fanboy, huh? Yeah. Um, but no, so I say that we're the biggest because we're the only one. I think it's exciting. It is. Neat. I, I listen to. Po- I'm a podcast guy. Good. So. so there's two ways to listen to us. You can listen to us on YouTube, and you can you can see our our, our faces, our mm. money makers. Um, or if you don't want to, and we do have a face for radio. <laughs> this took going down the road on Spotify. <laughs> Spotify. Yeah. Right? It's Ghost Weight Guys podcast uh, on Spotify. Yeah. So those are the two ways that you can listen. And um, how you can grow the show is, uh, is tell people about it, right? There's a lot of people that, man, I was at a restaurant today. Hey, listen to the podcast. It was great. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of people that don't know. So we want to get the word out. We want to uh, make this thing grow and and continue to be a success and anything and everything gold weight and there's so much going on in our little community and there's so many great things uh, happening and we want to make sure people know about it and 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 then how we can promote it and and well, just just have fun with it so the topics you want us to get on right or, or anybody yeah. want to be on here if there's or people you don't want back yeah <laughs> well, there you Tom, go it's not going to be you you're going to be <laughs> you're, Sorry, right? you're, i know i get kicked <laughs> off my own show um so yeah, if you want to have you know email us at gweightguys at yahoo dot com, tell us about what what you'd like to talk about or have us talk about, and maybe have a guest that you'd like to have on email us, and and we will uh, try to make that happen. All right. So we got Tom here, and we're going to talk a little bit more personal stuff and and what's going on in your life and and your family's life and uh, what makes you tick, what rounds off. Uh, uh, Tom Guthrie, and um, the first thing that I want to ask is, is well, Travis had this conversation. You're from Santa Ana. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why? Why? Is what? Santa Ana. Or if you're Santa f- if Anna? you're from there, you can say Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Oh, you. Yeah, I'm not. But it, it's correctly pronounced Santa Ana. Santa. Santa or Santa. Santa Ana with a T. Just like the conquistador uh, in the Battle of so, New Orleans. And um, so, to your question earlier, it's it's not named after the Mexican general, yeah. Santa Ana. Yeah. It is named after the Comanche Indian chief, yep. Santana. I told you, Russ. And See, that's so, good to know. I, really, I did. I thought it was part of the Santa Ana. It's it was uh, Santana. Our, uh, our, what we call Santa Ana Mountain mm-hmm. in the background. I've been on top of that thing. That's uh, uh, um, a lot of history around that mountain for uh, Comanche Indians and Texas Ranger history. I'll be darned. And so, um, on the on the east end of the 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 mountain up top in the in the rock ledges, there's a and I've seen it with my eyes. It says Captain C. L. Grady, 1874, I believe. That's amazing. Carved on the ledge and and. Uh, that gentleman was my grandpa's uh, uncle's dad, and really? so uh, just a lot of um, that's neat, you know, history in that world. And you're you're a history buff, uh, getting back yeah. into your family, right? I love so, history, right? I love history. So tell us about yeah. the uh, Guthrie name. What? Where did you come from? Uh, well, Guthrie Scottish. Okay, it's it's a. Uh, Scottish name, Scottish background. Uh, Guthrie's originated in Scotland, and so uh, my my grandpa and grandpa were big into genealogy. They you know traced it all the way back to really? Scotland, you know, and so um, Scottish background. Um, my children are are seventh generation Texans, and so been in Texas for a long time. Right, and so. Um, s- one one of my neat things in history is is my I have a part of family with the last name of Miles and and they were some of the first ones to come to the Coleman County um, Reynolds County Ballinger area from and Scotland so, and we've we've got no no <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh um we we've got so a, a neat find that my uncle found. Uh, several years ago before my grandpa passed away um was in the southwest texas collection at 
Texas Tech uh, University, their library there. Mm -hmm. um, they have a Southwest collection and found a tapes that a gentleman did of my great grandpa and grandma. And so, really, yeah, of interviewing. You got to hear their voice. Yes, yes, we got to listen That's to them and um, learned a ton of information. That's you know? amazing. Um, you know, and and so, like my great grandpa was in Oklahoma when they do the land rushes where they line up and the wagons and you go grab your land and stuff. Oh and, gosh, you know, just stuff like that. And that's awesome. And, and then talked about them coming and settling in this part of the world and stuff. And and so yeah, we got, we got we we had a big family gathering and played them for my grandpa and he got a little emotional. You know, because he didn't know what we were doing, and he heard his mom and dad's voice. And yeah, he was probably ninety years old at that time. Can you imagine um, really? being able to hear yeah your great great grandfather talk or your great grandfather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, I know so many people that are listening now have, you know, their parents are gone, and just to be able to hear their own parents' voice one more time, right? Now, yes, that that has to be special in and of itself. Yeah, yeah. So and so it's it's neat to have those tapes and recordings and and we made a recording with my grandpa as well now is that so how molly got her name through the miles well, well group? Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> part yes okay. part no so so molly uh um if it was gonna be a boy was gonna be named miles gotcha uh uh and so um when we found out it was a girl we we switched and uh, of course, everybody thinks Miley Cyrus was famous at that time, and <laughs> and that's n not really. It's spelt different, and so thank goodness for um, that. You know, I call her Miles. A lot of people in our family call her Miles, mm -hmm. and um, the Lee part um, is a special name in our family. Gotcha. So my my great or my my papa on my mom's side, his name was Lee Roy. Okay. And so, um, so have put them a, together. have a cousin that has passed away that was important to me, and his name was Lee. And so. Gotcha. Well, that, that's, that's neat. Uh, now, now we know Miley is a softball player and, and playing uh, on the varsity level. Uh, right field does really good with the bat, and I know you're proud of her. It's different. You can speak to this. Travis, you can also speak to this. But just having a son – play competitively in sports and Kaysen was an amazing athlete here in Goldthwaite and then transitioning to having this daughter who's you know on the state uh, the state championship mm -hmm. running basketball team runs track you know a cheerleader uh, all the stuff that she's involved in so speak to how the kind of the difference between Miley and, and Kaysen and how you live vicariously through well them. you know <laughs> uh Kaysen's taller than you yeah Kaysen's probably nearly six feet t or yeah. six foot three. He's a he's a big tall kid, <laughs> and so uh, was kind of clumsy earlier in his life growing into it and stuff. And and so he he uh, he's able to bulk up. He lifts weights all the time now. No, you can so, tell. Um, I tell you. <laughs> you lift a fork. I'll, like, no, I'll, I'll still take him though. <laughs> yeah, right. You yeah. gotta make sure. That's right. Um, of course, but, the older you get, the less you fight fair. You know, <laughs> right. um, some of the greatest days, of most fun our families had is is football's just a different beast than all the others because it's so physical. Right. You know, it's a contact sport, and and we're in Texas. Just the it's a big deal. You know, Friday nights are are absolute blast to oh, us. Yeah. But um, I tell you what, the, the the softball is just as exciting to me. You know, of course. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know, there's there's yeah. nothing like the butterflies yeah. of your son playing in big football, big football. games on right. Friday night. Yeah. There, nothing compares to that. I would wake up on a Friday game day just stoked, <laughs> ready to go. Let's yeah. go, right? Oh, I remember the post on Facebook. And so, it's game day. Um, yeah. You know, and and so there's there's nothing, and it's because you know it's it's a physical sport. You know, there's always injury yes. capability, and and we went through it all. And the last playoff football game, he got injured. You he know, did. at the end of the game, 
And so was uh, I, I was thinking the week of that, thinking, you know what? We have about survived this deal mm-hmm. without a big injury. And, you didn't knock on wood. And I didn't knock on wood. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. but he tore his ACL. But, uh, um, but the crazy thing about that is, be- and this speaks to him and how tough he was, didn't really want to have surgery or anything, played basketball um, later in the season in district with a with a bad knee. And, and you know, that was just incredible to even to watch him compete. Uh, and he did well. It was impactful. And, uh, but, you know, I mean, there's, there's not too many kids made like that anymore. Well, he – he was down in the dumps with the football deal because in his mind it was at the end of the game and we got stopped at the goal line. And in his mind, if he would have been in there, he would have helped us win the playoff game, right? So he was already down in the dumps. And, and you know, basketball season, they, they had a good season anyways. They went three rounds right. in, in basketball. And, and he knew they were going to have a good season and he didn't want to miss it his senior year. And he had a tight new – tight knit group of friends that they had all grown up with and um coach head he just thought a lot of coach head and we had discussions and discussions with the doctor and you know i just told him you're 18 years old you know doctors laid it out for you and you know basically told him you're going to have arthritis in your knee no matter if you play or don't play Mm -hmm. said you might have it worse if you do play uh so he he knew the consequences and and um and so he he wanted to. Of course, he was the biggest kid on the team. Yeah, we needed him bad, and you know? and he knew that. And so he played. He set out. He made a deal with the doctor to sit out a month, and and do therapy and build the muscles up in the leg around it, and played. And that was that was pretty nerve wracking watching him play every game. But had a good season with it, and then turned right around and stepped on the baseball field. And that's true. Pitched. Played and pitched yeah. with a torn ACL and. And when it was all done, uh, you know, I, I sat him down and I said, you know, one one thing nobody can ever take away from you is is they can't say you weren't a team player and mm-hmm. and and tough. Nobody, there as long you as go. you live, nobody can ever take that away from I, I you. I tell you what, I've never seen a kid do that, and for him to endure that pain and and just go out there and and lay it all on the line, that's that's incredible. And and, and I'll tell you, he 100% did it because he loved his teammates and his coach. There you go. So. Well, Coach Ed is is uh, a legend and hardly, you know, them kids will man they'll run through a wall for him, and that tells you the kind of person that he is and the kind of coach that he is. That the kid that you know has a, basically a, a one knee is is wanting to go out there and play just to just to be a part of something special, you and bet. so that's exciting. What and else you? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I didn't want to cut you off. Uh, you were going to speak to that. Oh, I was just, I was just going to say that you know, it's, 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 you know, different boys and girls, and you know, um, you know, I know you're excited. Your son's class is. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. a lot of success. They competed everything. Competed everything. They compete in the classroom. Kason's <laughs> class was that same way. You know, yeah. they competed in the classroom. They uh, never lost a game up until mm-hmm. high school level. Yep. You know? yep. And. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff goes into stuff like that. And, yeah. And one being uh, classes around you and numbers and yeah. and stuff like that. And so, it yeah. can, sports can be a humbling experience to people. So, and what does this new district look like in football? What are we what are, What are we going to be in it for? Do you know? Uh, it's going to be tough. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you can stack up one in the state of Texas that's got. Uh, as much tradition as yep. all of them do combined. Wow. And so, um, but that's what you want, right? Yep. Yeah. To be the best, you got to beat the that's best. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that mentality. Let's put it in the work. Yeah. yeah. And so, I, 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 just my head count, I tried to count up, and I think I counted 18 state championships. In the district. Between – between them all, maybe, or something along that it's line. Kind of like the kind of like the SEC and college football. If you can survive the conference, <laughs> you got a good chance yeah. of winning the national yeah. championship. Or, or eighteen appearances, or something like uh, that. But yeah. it's high, you know. Yeah. And so, um, you know, a lot. Of, some of the best football games I ever watched was between Mart and Goldthwait. 
Really? Oh, yeah. And yeah, so yeah, back in the good. day, you know, 09, 10 area yep. and stuff. And so. Well, that's exciting. I'm ready for the for the year to fall we've of got next a, year. We've got a um, – my sister-in-law's kin to uh, roundabout way to the um, – through her sister, uh, the athletic director and head coach at Bremont. Okay. And so we, we've met all them people and kind of keep up with them, and and they're uh, excited to be playing in our district as well. I'll and, tell you one thing we're all um, going to have to do is is learn how to carpool. Yeah. That's a long <laughs> way. Learn how to what? Carpool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll ride with you. <laughs> <laughs> so much traveling yeah. to happen. Yeah, of course our basketball. Which, get us which you know bus. we do that in our basketball district. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know we g- girls softball. We were in Sonora right. yeah. a couple of weeks ago yeah. and for a double header and didn't get home till nearly two it's o'clock. Two o'clock. In the we got home. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, and so yeah. we're we're used to it. Yeah. So. yeah, I mean if you're gonna live here, it's it's just kind of the yeah. par for the course, yeah. so to speak. So. All right, Travis, what you got? Man, you're a uh, – I, I know you love Jesus and you love your family and everything, but is there anything your wife does that drives you crazy? I know mine <laughs> – Pet peeve. Uh, Here we go. Yeah, yeah, pet peeve. Mine, I'm going to hang doorknobs in random places on our wall because we, we got doors. She can't shut them. She's got clothes hanging on them. Yeah. So, I mean, it just drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, be careful. Don't incriminate yourself. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm having to be careful. Yeah. Tread lightly yeah. here. Yeah. Um, Y'all been married, what, 24? Four, five years? No, 26. 22. 22. Yeah. No, it's 22 years, 22. okay. Yeah. Um, That's still newlyweds. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, probably a lot of things she does drive me crazy. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I probably do a lot of things that drive her crazy, yeah. too. Yeah. Um, Mine ain't killed me. She's had opportunities, too. <laughs> well, he, he has to sleep with one eye open. Well, this time. Softball game of the night, I wouldn't even duck in or dodge when the ball hit the deal there. I said, man, every time I go in the house, I, 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 I got pots and pans to prove it. Right. <laughs> I, actually, I harp on her a little bit about learning to tell people no. Yeah. yeah. I can I can see that. Mine tells me no all the time. But just, uh, no, her saying no. Oh, yeah. well, well, you know, just no, yeah, I got yeah. you. Doing doing a lot and, and stuff and yeah, you know and yeah. sometimes we just got. Oh yes, what, what even this last weekend, right? She's decorating yeah. prom and yeah, yeah, her and Christy McCoy and Jackie Boykin and right. um, mm-hmm. Jason and Shelly Williams. They mm-hmm. gosh, every night this week. Yeah, uh, there ain't no laziness in none of them. Took off yeah. Friday to be up there and decorate all day and all day Saturday and. Mm-hmm stuff for prom and it looked great it did look good we we, we did. Uh, what did you do did you decorate any of us i i stayed as far away from that as there i possibly could good thing. yeah I, I, there's no need for me I to be there. trying to wire, wire up all this my stuff presence right in that place could only hinder things <laughs> your head gets in the way <laughs> that's right and then today was clean up we were up there till five o'clock cleaning oh, up so. you know i ain't the only ups I, I'm good at, you know, I, I'm not good at push ups, pull ups, or sit ups. I'm good at mess ups. <laughs> yeah. And you know, downs. I, I you do this, downs. At the you? point in my life, I used to make a lot of mistakes and I learned a lot from them. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I made more so I, so I could learn more, I guess, you know. <laughs> it didn't work yeah. out that right. Yeah. Uh, so, no, yeah, that's, that's a good question. So, uh, here, how about this? Hit me with some, what's your favorite college team? Football. Football. Mm. Okay, let's go there. So, so, uh, Tom roots for all the Texas teams. Right. I don't have an allegiance to. I didn't go to school at none of them big schools, and so I don't have an allegiance to none of them. Okay. Um, I'm same with professional sports. Mm-hmm. I pull for the Texas teams. Yeah, that's all right. So, um, guns gun to your head right now. <laughs> Texas is playing Texas A&M. Baylor's playing Texas Tech. All four of them are playing. One v one v one v one. Who who is who do you want to win that Texas game? So it might depend on who's the top players. Like right. I also pull for kids that are yeah. Uh, yeah. small town kids that we might have heard of or come across. Gotcha. So so I got to be a UT fan. Um, Colt McCoy right. grew, grew up down the road from Santa Ana, you know, and so why aren't we going to pull for him? Nice. Right? I'm glad you brought that and up. So, uh, have you ever heard of Bobby Lang? Uh, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby Lane? Yeah, Bobby yeah, Lane. Yeah, he was born in Santa Ana. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hall of Fame, Pro Football Hall of Fame quarterback. Yeah. Who did he play for? I might have to look it up, man. Do you remember? Uh, is this trivia? Are you I asking don't, me? I don't, I don't me? remember. 
I was just creeping on. He your went stuff. to the University of Texas, I believe. Uh, oops. How long ago was that? But he he didn't grow up there. He was born there. Oh, he's a movie he had now, some huh? family there. Played college for the Texas Longhorns yeah. and uh, selected by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Third overall pick eight, in 1948. Yeah. 48. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, how old were you, about six then? Me? <laughs> but he, they, he's, there's still lanes <laughs> yeah. around there. Are yeah. there? Yeah. yeah. Um, gotcha. But, so, yeah, so I, I kind of pull for, you know, um, in, in – and stuff, but so I want people were gonna call me all kinds of names. So we'll I probably those. pull for UT. Uh, hey, that's good for me. Both your so, girls. I love that. <laughs> no, well, my wife graduated yeah. from UT Tyler, so it's kind of a, a different situation. Well, mine got her masters from there, so I better show up. Yeah, yeah. So but I'm at A but, and but, yeah. but also frog and we, yeah. we we've got some kinfolk, yeah. and and he actually was playing for Baylor and has transferred to Texas Tech and so I might pull for them too. There you go. But so but where does LSU rank? LSU? Yeah. Who's that? <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's uh, great. Are they in Texas? No, they're not in okay. Texas. That's East for Texas. sure. <laughs> Who's in East yeah, I'll tell you this, I will pull for them over Alabama. I agree. Because they're closer yeah. to Texas. No, I agree with that. And I have a lot of respect for Cajun people. Right. Well, I got a, good I food. love crawfish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Right. Okay, well, yeah. that's, that brings us to our next important point. <laughs> and I've been point. to their campus before. Have you been to it's LSU? It's beautiful. Really? Yeah. That's cool. So that brings us to the next topic is, is food. Uh, you're a foodie. Me and Travis says you can look at us and tell <laughs> yeah. we're foodies. Uh, so uh, where where are you going to eat uh, on a Friday night, you and Bree? What town are we in? Wherever at, <laughs> wherever you go, wherever you want to be. So I like I'm a steak guy. I like a good ribeye. Yeah, who cooks the best? Ones? Um, I do. <laughs> there you go. So we're probably gonna stay home and we're gonna cook it. <laughs> uh, the best what? Did you say steak? Yeah. Man, I thought I did till my wife started cooking them in uh, iron cast iron skillet. Yeah. On the oven. Ooh. I had some last night on my yeah. blackstone. Uh, it's fantastic. We uh. We, we we like to eat steak. We like to, as a family, um, we like to eat steak, you know, along with the kids and mm-hmm. stuff. And the, the kids like to eat um, steak. And we also like to eat crawfish and shrimp. So there we, we uh, search out, you know, places, uh, shrimp bowls. Kind yeah, of stuff. we're supposed um, to be having one of those pretty soon. So and um, so, uh, but it's under the w- table. Nobody. We knows we about. found one over in Colleen that we like. Really? Yeah, just kind of randomly stumbled across it. And Southside has them mm. at certain times of the year. Yeah, uh, they don't yeah. have crawfish. Yeah, coming, like, uh-huh. right now, is it? Is that what it is? Yeah. Southside cooks yep. good steak too. Yeah. They really do. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. So you're a bit of a grill master. So when you're not cooking a steak. You like a uh, you know brisket? Um, are you slow cooking brisket or ribs or or what? What do you like to cook? Well, I like to cook it all. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to in quantity too. Yeah, I like big, to. You, you like to feed a lot of people. I like to cook ribs. Um, I like to, I like to cook pork belly burn ins. Never had those. I heard that amazing. Pork belly burn ins. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that. So, so you have to do that and and deep fry them, don't you? No. You bake them. Or no, grill them? Grill them. Yeah. You ever made any Smoke pork rinds? No. You don't want to make pork rinds? What is it? Pork rinds. Oh, yeah. It comes off the end of a pig somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what in. <laughs> so that, that's scary. But yeah. oh, so you're cooking. You're cooking. Pulled uh, pork. Pulled pork. Uh, still, you know, I know you do a lot for the church brisket. and different fundraisers and things like that. So, you know, we're, uh, I don't know. We like to cook for people. Mm-hmm. Um and so now it's obviously a, back back to church you know mm-hmm. um on a committee i'm on or was on uh pastor crosby on the same committee and we were talking and you know he i can't remember the number he used but he talked about um one of the greatest ways that jesus talked with people was through meals That's right, right. Mm-hmm. and so break bread yeah and and so um what a what a great way to me and Travis communicate with a lot of people. You know, <laughs> <laughs> break a lot of bread. <laughs> yeah, um. and so it's uh, it's just something that that Bray and I both enjoy. You know, being able to do yeah. stuff like that for people groups. We we fed a lot of the ball teams over the years, boys and girls. Right. And so, 
Very cool. Very cool stuff. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what's some of the, uh, one of the, something crazy you may have done in your life? You know, I like, um, I've been lots of places, done lots of things. You know, I've directional drilled and, and worked all over. I, I drove uh, Puerto Rico for three months, and then I've been to 48 of the the states here driving and stuff. Seen a lot of crazy stuff. What? I mean, yeah. you ever jumped out on an airplane or anything? No, I'm not no. going to. <laughs> yeah, right? Why jump out of a Tom's scared of heights. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's why God made you a little yeah. lower and everything. <laughs> I, I will ride in one, but I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. Um, I I don't know crazy. I've never well, done anything crazy like that. Out of the ordinary. I mean, I, I you know, lived a rambunctious life at yeah, one point in my yeah. life, and I've done some crazy do, stuff. Yeah. Do you have a like a childhood memory or a sports memory that like stands out in your brain? That like, man, this was this was forever will be one of the greatest moments. Um, from childhood or or what the I don't whatever. Know. Um. So one thing about me is, it, Bree, Bree would tell you this, is, is I've kind of got like a, I don't know, I have like a photographic memory. Well, yeah, that's me. I, okay. I, I yeah. remember everything. Yeah. So um, I don't remember a thing. Well, I can remember, like you, I can. I don't take a lot of pictures. I, I do, but uh, but I can remember certain things when I, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember. Just take it in. I remember stuff, and yeah. I get a lot of highway time behind the wheel driving. I travel a good bit, and and when i i drive a lot you know towards san angelo abilene mm -hmm. area and so that was kind of all my part of the world in my younger days and and i just uh i drive and think a lot yeah and, and my i just memories yeah. flash in my brain you right, know certain right, songs yeah. bring back certain memories that's me and i can a song will come on and it'll you know it'll trigger of, it, yeah and I, I remember going through effingham illinois or indiana one night and just you know the snow, and then you know smell of cow, cattle and everything, and yeah. it just brings back. You know, I can. It's crazy how a song and a, yeah. and a deal. Yeah, I you know driving. I I listen when I drive. I listen to podcasts and I yeah. listen to music. I jam out and I say my prayers. Yeah. And so all of that triggers a lot of that. So me. what uh and what music are you listening to? What do you what do you hear? I like it all. Depends um, on how fast you want to drive. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I, I mean, I one of my most favorite things to do is is sit back and listen to music. And so, what's um, your favorite genre of music? I like Texas country. Okay, and I'm a, I'm a. I guess if you held me down, I'd say Pat Green, Texas on my mind. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Can't uh, go wrong with him. Uh, that kind of takes me back. And we 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 hung out with Pat Green in a, a music venue in San Angelo before he was really Pat Green. And right. Yeah. Just been a before fan he was ever since. And we went and seen him a few years ago. He played in Burn It. Yeah, took the kids and stuff. Put on so a good show. That that, that's something that me and my family like to do is go uh, find a concert and go to. And yeah, we we survived the Zach Bryan concert and College Station back in the fall, mm. and I checked that off my list as that an was, accomplishment in life. That was that, a, that was crazy. Was you guys, what's was crazy? That, that was crazy. That wasn't a Tom Guthrie call. That was more of a Miley and Bree call. Yes, yeah. and and so uh, very glad that we went with them because it was crazy. <laughs> you know, you talk about that. Uh, we're going next weekend. The Deaf Deaf Legends playing them for Lost Traces. Now Traces. tell us who that yeah. is. What is that? Yeah, it's a tribute band to Deaf Leopard. They're going to be up there oh, next yeah. weekend. And yeah, I like me some Death Leopard, right. too. Cody Jinx yeah. is going to be in Dallas. And that uh, that's one of my favorites because I think every every song he wrote, he was following me around. You know, <laughs> it, he knew about crazy times and stuff. But, you know. So uh, what's your favorite song? What, I know the genre. What, what, what's a favorite song you're like, man, that's just my, my favorite. That, the, Pat, Pat Green, Pat Texas Green. on my mind. Yeah. Texas on my yeah. mind. All right, good that, gets me, that gets me in a good mood. Gotcha. Yeah. Very cool. And I like, you know, I like the old music. I like, yeah. I like the new music too. Yeah, sure. I'm not. I like the Def Leppard. Oh yeah, yeah. Guns and Roses yeah. back oh, yeah. in the day, yeah. and yeah. and then I like to listen to, you know, Christian praise music. Yeah, too. I, oh, I yeah. got. I build playlists. I have a lot of playlists. Oh, on do my you? Phone. And so what podcasts are you listening to? Cowboy guy. I mean, <laughs> most of them are Cowboy guys. guys. <laughs> most of them are Chris, Christian podcast. Really? That's yeah. basically all I listen to is Christian podcast. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, well, now you got another one. Um, yeah. yeah, and yeah. and so I, I I I'm one of these. I like to listen and learn. Mm -hmm. I, I um I like to learn. Uh, yeah, always growing. And so that's yeah. in, in my job. I tell people too. I I could couldn't have done anything in this world that I would have learned more than what I've learned mm -hmm. in my job. 
and right. so it's a learning process all the time right. and and so i like to Bree tells me i'm a deep thinker so i like to listen to a lot of these christian podcasts and i like to read books and so so we're starting a kind of a, a, a revolution uh here and it's important that we know if you're going to eat chicken wings what kind of chicken wings are you going to eat? Are they going to be boneless or bone-in? So, I thought about this because I heard this question yeah. the other day. Uh, so, I love some chicken wings. Um, okay, which restaurant are you going to? Wingstop, Buffalo Wild Wings, or some kind of... Uh, I'll, I'll go to Fud Ruckers or whatever they're I'll, called. I'll, I'll go to any of them. Um, um, wings and More yeah. is a good one that I like. Okay. Uh, when I go to College Station, I like to stop in there and get some wings gotcha. um and so i like the buffalo okay just regular old buffalo yeah all right yeah are they gonna have bones in them or not it, so it kind of depends and i and i agree you know there's only one way for wings but it also depends <laughs> the setting right yeah. like if i'm gonna get it all over me or, <laughs> yeah yeah right you know that kind of stuff sure am i gonna be you're wearing you wearing a white tux or not <laughs> Yeah. And so, yeah, b bones, yeah. That's right. That's good. That's good. That's a good thing. That's what I wanted to hear. Boneless is, yeah, it's a dressed up chicken nugget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> McDonald's. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but there's a, they have a place. They do have a place. Yeah. It's called yeah. McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, let me ask you this. Movies. Um, what's your all-time favorite movie? Still, Magnolia's is one of my favorites. Really? Or not. Yeah, heck yeah. That makes yeah. you. I didn't. Know, you want to cry like that? No, I, just, I like Weezer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't know. Uh, Gosh, that's a hard one. Um, um, There's so many, so many great ones. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 And, and I, you know, being kind of a history person, like Lonesome you, Dove, like, Dancing with Wolves. Well, see, like I, Lonesome Dove is what I would say, but that's technically not a movie. Oh, it's a it's a series. It's a series. Well, it's six hours. So six hour movie. You know, yeah. with yeah. breaks. Yeah. <laughs> that, that that's up there is, is the, at the top of my list is one of the favorites. Is Lonesome Dove? I agree. Dove. I, I, I agree hard. A, to me, that's a fabulous. You can't go wrong. Yeah, with that. I always. Um, I had, I had. Well, about O. Yeller, where the red front grows. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. You like yeah. those classics? You're yeah. un-American or un-Texan if you don't like those. Yeah, yeah. sure. And, you know, yeah. I, I like Top Gun. Yeah. I, you know. Have you seen I, the new yeah, one? Yeah, I like the new one. That new one's cool. You know, it's great. Um, yeah. And history-wise, I like stuff like Braveheart. Right. Saving Private Ryan. Nah, that's that a good one. stuff. Um, yeah. Um, we seen a good one another night. Oh, boy. Um. The guy that he didn't he went over there and didn't want to carry a gun wouldn't carry a gun. He was a medic. That army medic. What was that? Oh, oh yeah. Huh? What was it, Richie? Yeah. Axel Ridge. Axel Ridge. Axel Ridge. Yeah. yeah, I'd never watched that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Richie. Shout out to wow. Richie on yeah. that. Thank on you, the Richie. Call. Yeah, I, I love <laughs> he stuff. He is paying like, attention. Yeah. <laughs> kind of history based that are, you know, real life and stuff. Yeah. 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 I, I you know, I, I guess when I get the desert island, you're going to go to a desert island and watch a movie. You're taking long some dove, huh? If that's what you have to watch. Yeah, I think I think so. Yeah. That's good stuff. Especially since it's longer and I'm gonna be on the desert <laughs> island. <Yeah. laughs> right. That's uh, good. So you ever rode in a hot air balloon? No, no. Probably not going to. Right. That the other morning, I don't know. I have some crazy thoughts in the morning to walk to no, the house. I, that, that's that's something I've never thought I, about. I told Amy, we were talking about parachuting or something. I said, I want to jump out of a water balloon. She said, what? A hot air balloon is what I mean. Not a water balloon. I would love for you to jump out of an airplane with a water balloon. I'm not balloon. going with you. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. You'd so, get tangled up in a cord. <laughs> but I would. I would. Don't give me a parachute to jump out of a yeah. plane. Give me, as a sound man, give me a cable. It will hang up on uh, something. That's for suit. sure. All right, so yeah. let me give, give you this, this question here. So, a little known fact. This is pretty neat, but... um. One of my greatest childhood memories, my parents and my brother, we went to the Texas Rangers uh, game. And this was back in the old stadium before Globe Life. You yeah, know, we sweated. Arlington Stadium. Arlington yeah. Stadium. And, and so I was there. We were in center field. They were playing the Chicago White Sox. Nolan Ryan was pitching. Robin Ventura is up to bat. <laughs> was you there for the whooping? I was there. <laughs> okay. And and as a child, it was, it was 
crazy guy. And so Nolan Ryan hits him. He charges the mound, and I'm terrified because, um, you know, Nolan Ryan's in his 40s, oh, you yeah. know, and, and, and this young Ventura, you know. Yeah. But that wasn't what I was scared about. I was scared about the White Sox as a whole because they had Bo Jackson. Who? They had Frank Thomas, uh, Ozzy Guillen, Tim Raines, and I'm thinking they're going to just kill him. And yeah. this, and this, you know, incredible um, – memory is so cool because just to watch that game and and you know you see all the memorabilia now about it you know he's got him in a headlock and it's like i was there we had nolan ryan there. and charlie huff charlie huff <laughs> right <laughs> pete and cavillia yeah. and all those guys ruben uh, sierra uh -huh. julio franco uh it's a great time we life. we uh growing up going to the rangers games was one of our deals we probably go to four or five games a summer Do in you? that old arlington stadium and yeah we had some family friends that we would all go with, and we we would get there early for autographs mm -hmm. and stay late, stay late for autographs. Watch and, bad practice. And I, before. we've got a tub full of autographs to wow. this day, yeah. you know, of all those old players. And my brother and our friend Chris Cheney, they had known Ryan's son cornered one day, and they give them their home address. And so no we'd mail cards to Nolan Ryan's home address, and they'd send them back. That's awesome. And, and stuff uh, and so yeah. I, I one of my highlights is i got an autographed ball of george w bush when he was the owner of them no kidding uh, yeah that's crazy so uh, the reason why i'm saying this because i know you are a a texas rangers fan yes tried and true yes. uh, we don't have time for these houston fans around here one of, one of the greatest days of my life was when they won the world series well, last I, fall i i me too as a childhood uh, my kids were getting a kick out of it because it meant so much <laughs> to me i'm like man we have We've been through it we have back to arlington stadium it's been yeah. a long road I mean, that's the way and i was in 2011 was like, that's three stadiums that's three stadiums in right. you know so right um, and, and to me i love the new stadium don't get me wrong it's nice going to watch the rangers in in air conditioning yeah but if that old bark was so pretty. Oh yeah, we yeah. globe life. We uh, we sat through a seventeen inning ball game oh, there gosh. one time, and Chili Davis was the left fielder, and we were right behind him, and we we forced him three errors that game. We heckled <laughs> him so bad. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've been to some. I mean, I was there uh, the first playoff game in '96 when uh, they were playing the Yankees. Uh, I was there four rows from the top, and. Uh, uh, Roger Clemens was pitching for the Yankees, and Daryl Strawberry hit a three-run homer to win it for the for the for the Yankees. So, big-time Ranger fan. Yeah. yeah, like you said, it was like a, a fulfillment of childhood yes. uh, yeah. history. Uh, you know, this last year with the Rangers winning the World Series. Like I said, that's the way it was for me in 2011 when the, the Mavs won the uh, won the World Championship. So, um, I'm hoping they can do it again this year. But yeah, so. Texas Rangers fan, Mavs fan for you, uh, obviously diehard Cowboy fan. If oh, you yeah. want to run Tom Guthrie's live you <laughs> and play fantasy football with him, just draft all Cowboy fans and or Cowboy players, and, and he will be livid. Because okay. as, as the Cowboys go, Tom Guthrie's fantasy football goes. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> right. All in. All in. He's got everybody yeah. at the defense and everything. So, if the, the Cowboys are doing good this year, uh, Tom's going to be hard yeah, to that, beat fantasy. That's one thing with me. I'm all in with my teams. That's yeah. right. No, that's really? good stuff. So, yeah. Man, anything else to that? Uh, to the Cowboys? Yeah. I, they going to get it done this year? I'm kind of disappointed in the direction that we've been going this off season. So, but – We'll see how it plays out. Yeah, um, been a lifelong Cowboys fan since I was a little bitty kid, mm -hmm. and um, we didn't have much TV growing up. And one thing we did was have Cowboys on Sundays after church. And yeah, absolutely. So my my grandpa will sit there and watch them. My dad sit there and watch them. And yeah, I'll sit there and watch them. Of course, the nineties, early nineties Cowboys. Yeah, yeah, you know we in a generation where they were good and yeah our, our kids generation they don't understand that they, they don't have R that. richie probably don't understand he doesn't have that no. connection <laughs> no. uh, so but yeah no uh, i mean just to, to i knew every one of those guys um you know in my teenage years yeah. watching that so 
Uh, it's fun stuff, good stuff. So, hopefully, uh, we'll have a good year with the Cowboys. But, um, man, Houston's looking really strong. Oh man, so they hit good. a home run with their draft. They sure getting did getting that quarterback. Yeah. That's right. Stroud is the real deal. Sometimes it takes a little luck. Right. Yep. Do you hear Tom Brady may be coming back? Yeah. I hope not. I don't I know can. why he would. I don't. No. <laughs> That's all we need is a geriatric guy yeah. here throwing the ball. Um, but no, that, that makes Richie happy. I know that. So yeah, It'd be like you joining the Mavs. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I think I'd just be happy in retirement. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, you know, it's not for the money. That's for sure. Yeah. Let's go fishing. <laughs> yeah. He's not running out of money anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. All right, Travis, you got anything else for, for Tom? No, I guess that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for coming out, yeah. Tom, hanging Man, out with us. Man, that was pretty you. easy, Travis. I thought yeah. he was going to be rough on me there. Well, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tra- well. Travis is a good softball fan. Oh, uh, man, I tell you what. Travis I, is, is a good. Uh, yeah. I enjoy watching all the kids do good. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we got as good a softball team yeah. as we've had in a I while. I tell you what. And so, yep, big game it. Monday, uh, yeah. Junction uh, here, senior night. Tomorrow. Yeah. Man, how are you going to deal with next year? Because I'm me and you're in the same boat. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, well, then we're in the same boat, kind of, but different. different. Yeah. You're you're fixed to be an empty nester. Yeah. yeah. How's that going to look? It's looking good. <laughs> That's me. I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> no. I told Blake. No. I told Blake when he crosses the stage of graduation, his bags will be packed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Thanks for coming. <laughs> no, you know it's. Uh, um, it, it, it's one of those deals where you're sad on one hand yeah. and happy on the other. And, you know, it, it took some adjustment case and, you know, graduating. Course, it's your baby and, girl coming up too. Young girl's a little different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, it, life has slowed down a little bit, not having two kids yeah. going mm-hmm. uh, crazy with everything. I have two of them that don't have a driver's license. And yet. so I'd be glad mine get driver's license. Uh, Good I, gosh. It, it's kind of peaceful. It, you know, it's kind of, we were we we love going and doing right don't get me wrong but we were actually sitting down as a family after church today mm-hmm. at the house eating lunch which doesn't happen a whole lot anymore and we were just talking about different things and stuff and i don't know what up what brought it up but um we covid and casing goes yeah that was one of the greatest times of my life yeah you know, you talk and about that. Our house, there would be like 20 bicycles up there. Yes. The house, and then every house in town that had a trampoline, there was a water hose underneath it. And, and it was just, Miley uh, goes, yeah, me too. And I said, yeah, why? It's it like, well, life was just easier. Oh, yeah. And wasn't yeah. as busy. And, yeah. you know, we everybody was home every evening and yeah. ate good, supper good, together. Yeah. And, you know, Bree and I both went to work every day. But yeah. we didn't in the evenings. We weren't going anywhere. Exactly. We'd stay home, and the couldn't go anywhere. We didn't no. really isolate the kids from their friends, and so no. they were hanging out with their friends during right. the day, riding bicycles, and Casey and his buddies were going and working out, and yeah. at the football field, and you know, life was simpler, and oh, yeah. and so it's just kind of funny that that's what your kids remember, you know, is something. Yeah, like that. I mean, my kids and speak to that too. I mean, just that time where. It was just us, and and it was a weird time for churches too. You uh-huh. know, you lived through it, and but yeah, having that, you know, we'd had worship night, where uh, families would just play music on their porch and yeah. and send it onto Facebook, and and seeing all these different families worship together, and it was, it was just a neat time. Yeah, and so you know, I mean, God was telling us we're too busy. Absolutely, so, exactly. Um, Believe that. You know, so so I, I think about stuff like that when, you know. Obviously, we'll be lost not going to ball games and or having to go to ball games and yeah. stuff well, like that. Well, you'll just that. have to piggyback off another family. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> there's lots of ones that we like to watch sure. and stuff. Oh, yeah. And so, sure. uh, you know, Miley, she's got a ton of little girls that just everywhere we go, they yeah, they look up to her, hang on her and stuff. And so, yeah, we keep up with all them little girls and good deal. Try to go watch them play for some time. And there's, time. I'll be, you know, that's what we did with the sides family. We, we piggyback one like my kids are too old to trick or treat now, but me and my wife, we still want all the candy, right? So we have to, <laughs> we we <laughs> go along with the sides and steal all the candy from the kids. So uh, uh, just yeah. don't don't look bad on us, but or don't look down on us for that. But that's what we have to do to keep ourselves going. So yeah, it's yep. good. Yeah. Tom, thank you so much for being part of the cast uh, today and, and hanging out with us. And 
blessings to you and your family and and you are such a blessing to Goldthwait and everything that you do and and who you are so yeah. um this is the second podcast and man we couldn't have think the couldn't have thought of a better guest for well i hope it's not your last now yeah, well so. we'll see how <laughs> we run everybody right? off here <laughs> yeah. no, following yeah. coach howard that's a <laughs> that's big uh, shoes to yeah he, he he's used to doing interviews yeah. you know so. yeah. yeah oh yeah but i'll tell you what he's passionate about his sports yeah. and that's yeah. that's what you want so yeah and just like that you're passionate about this community so um thank you again and uh, we're going to take a little break now, and we'll we'll come back come and back. finish up and uh, close up shop and Kick, run Richie off. Run Richie off. <laughs> Th- thank you all for having me. I all appreciate right. it. Thank, thank you, y'all. Tom. Enjoyed appreciate it. you, buddy. Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, uh, Travis, for hanging out. It's been a good time this this evening with uh, with Tom Guthrie. Yes, sir. A lot of a lot of good stuff just to hear him and uh, what he what he's been doing in our community and you know the new superintendent and all the stuff that's going on in in Goldthwait. Um, Pretty ag, good all around guy, uh, country boy, just stand up guy. And- Amazing. Glad he's here. Absolutely. Yep. Um, Supporting you know, all our youth. That, and that's one of those good move-ins, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We need more yeah. of those. Yes, sir. All right. So give me some yes or no's on this. These are some ideas of of podcast names, okay? I'm going to hit you with it. Oh, Lord. There right, we go. How about this one? The Laugh Rights uh, Podcast. The Laugh, mm. Laugh Riot Podcast. No. That's a no. Okay. No. Uh, well, we tried that one out. How about uh, Clowning Around Town Podcast? No. No, it doesn't fit us either. I huh? mean, you fit the clown part. But. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. The Side Splitting Express podcast. Uh, no. Not feeling that one either? No. How about Chuckle City no, no. podcast? <laughs> <laughs> None of these are working for you, huh? What do you think? Uh, look, the Goldthwait uh, Guys podcast is yeah, kind of yeah. simple and bland, yeah. but, but it fits who we are yeah. a little bit. And maybe... Um, Maybe uh, we'll some, see some input from from the from from you, our community. Yeah, yeah. Right. If you give them the right email. Yeah, let's talk about the email because I said um, it wrong. So, what is the email, Travis? Gweight guys at yahoo dot com. Gweight guys at yahoo dot com, yeah. not yeah. Goldweight guys. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some emails. Uh, how about this one, the Wacky and Wisdom Show, and we don't know which one's which. I don't know where we're gonna find the wise one. <laughs> 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 you know, back when I was in, in school, uh, uh, me and my buddy, we had a, we were, we were, um, um, in our minds, we were professional wrestlers and we were a tag team wrestling group yeah. and we were called Vicious and Delicious and we couldn't tell which one was who. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no, not going to work. How about no. this? Giggles and Good Times podcast. Um, witty Wonders. Witty Wonders. We got them all here, folks. Yeah. Uh, we need help. Yep. Highly unconventional that, podcast. I mean, that fits us a little bit, huh? A little bit, yeah. Highly unconventional uh, podcast. Yeah. Or how about this one? The Irrelevant Podcast. That is that is true. Well, that could be irrelevant sidetrack. Side, side, <laughs> the side show. Side show, yeah. <laughs> uh, Freaks and geeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, help us out, uh, Goldweight. What do we need to be called? And again, only positive stuff. Oh, if, yeah. You know, if you can't say nothing nice, yeah. just don't say it. Just, come no on. politics too no, much. No, yeah, yeah. we don't. Uh, we don't want to be those uh, those guys. No. Um, but yeah, exciting week coming up with uh, softball Monday, um, senior night for the girls. I think I want to say there's a baseball game choosing. I'm not sure. Oh, um, but we'll, we'll we have got to start researching some things before you know, we get on here and talk like we know what we're talking about. Well, that's part of the podcast is well, two meatballs talking. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. You know. yeah, but I'm working on that <laughs> a little bit better. Yeah, you feel more comfortable. This is your second full yeah, show. How you yeah. feel about it? I feel a little bit better. You know what? <clears throat> I'm making a lot of changes in my life, and this is kind of helping proceed to where I want to go and where I should be. I think I should be. You know? Yeah. You know me pretty well, but sure. It's, you know, it's, thank Jesus, I, you know, I'm here. Yeah. And able to do this, but. No, it's good. Uh, yeah. But I'm it's not, been fun. I look forward to it a little bit more. Maybe Tom will talk to me in public. Well, you know? well, yeah. yeah. I hope so. Yeah. I mean, he, 
you know. <laughs> he's a good second guinea pig. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, no, yeah. it's been good. But so yeah, no. I think we're going. I think Walt uh, Thompson's wanting to get on here and talk to really? us. Really? Yeah. Okay, we'll get you get him I'm going, on, and I'm gonna embarrass him. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, yeah. we'll see what happens yeah. with track too. You yeah, know, we got yeah. some state yep. qualifiers. I think. I mean, yeah. well, I think we have a defending state championship and uh, champion in yeah. hurdles. With the girls, with yep. with Amy J, and yep. um, you know, we'll we see might how have a whole group on here. Sometimes we may have a whole bunch of kiddos yeah. in here and Heck talking yeah. about their successes. And yeah. uh, I've gotten a lot great. of you know, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, people, um, topics we need to discuss. But I mean, you know, it's going to take yeah. a little while to cover everything because yeah. time and everything. We got you know, nothing but time, but, right? Yeah. yeah. And we oh, may, yeah. We, we may, like you had talked about with yeah. us, we may have some podcasts where it's just me and you. Yeah. Talking yeah. about shooting the bull and, and talking about yeah. fixing everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? A uh, whole lot of wisdom there. I mean, a whole yeah. lot of wisdom. <laughs> yeah. if you don't believe me, <laughs> ask my wife. Uh, uh, but, yeah. Well, so, yeah. it may, you know, we, this can go any direction. I it get can, that airplane built. We'll have a lot to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Travis. It'll be, yeah. It'll be like, what's that movie? Uh, second in lines. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll be stuck upside down the steeple outside or something. <laughs> Travis uh, is, is yeah. have, contemplating piloting an airplane, which. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, this may happen. be this may be where I podcast by myself <laughs> because <laughs> it's, it's going to happen. I know that motor's mounted to a picnic table, but I can put wings on it. <laughs> yeah, the, Russ and Travis, uh, yeah. it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, hey, thank you for yep. uh, for listening uh, this this evening or whenever you listen to it. You may listen mm-hmm. to it the next day. But anyways, thank you for giving us a listen and and grow the show. And this is how you can do it. Tell people. Yeah. Just tell people. It's it's yeah. easy. We're on YouTube. Share it with your friends. That's right. Yeah. Share it. Put it on Facebook. Post yeah. it. Share it. It'll be on Facebook. Or you can even also watch it uh, on, on YouTube or you can listen to it on Spotify. So it's Worldwide both way, guys. Yeah. yeah. Hey, some cool stuff. So we're getting some more equipment, as we've been noticing. We're going to put out a CD, yeah. Are we? Yeah, it'll be in the bottom of the discount bin or some, <laughs> some no, d- uh, dumpster fire. <laughs> so I was talking to my rep, who is our, our sound guy for yeah. for our church, yeah. and uh, he's from Sweetwater, and I was telling him, hey, we're starting a podcast. And yeah. um, he said, oh, really? I, I, he said, oh, I do my, I do, I supply for podcasts, too. I said, well, good, because we need some, we're going to get some yeah. mic stands. That way we don't have to hold the mics and, right. you know, um, but anyways, I said, "Well, who who what podcast do you work for?" And no kidding, he said, "Well, I'm I'm the supplier for the uh, Joe Rogan show." I was like, "That's crazy." <laughs> right? Out of business. <laughs> and then he, yeah, I know. No. And then he said he, uh, he also is the supplier for the Pat McAfee show. So we yeah. have some big connections, yeah. right? We're going to be world wild. World wild is yep. different than worldwide. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, yeah, camera, the camera's world, got me. We dude. are going to be world wild. <laughs> I can't wait. No, hey, listen, thanks for joining and being a part of us. And uh, and we'll oh, see you guys around the bend. Yeah. See you next time. Travis, sign right. off. Enjoyed it. We'll see you. All righty. <laughs>